I'm excited to be with you here today and have a few minutes to chat about mentoring at sea. My seagoing career began on board this vessel at the tender age of 12 years. Do that one as well? Yeah. Thanks. As a deck boy, the captain allowed me to sail with him on my Saturdays and my school vacations between some small islands in the UK. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the industry today could still allow youngsters opportunities to go to sea and learn their trade, even before they leave school? Those people who taught me my early skills were my mentors. I'm still at sea and currently work on some of the most modern vessels in today's Merchant Navy. Now we're going to talk a lot today at conference about the digital age, the green evolution and the future of the Merchant Marine. But let's be honest, in some ways the future is already here. These are two of the ships I've been on recently and there's no doubt that they're proof of our digital era at sea. They're being run extremely well, and everybody on board that I met during the operations were well-trained and professional. So we're getting it right. Well, for now. How do we ensure that they continue to be operated in a safe, efficient, and commercially viable way? We must ensure that there's continuity of training on board. When I've stood by a new build, such as these two, we attended many courses and demonstrations prior to sailing on the maiden voyage. This is not feasible once a new ship, sorry, this is not feasible once a ship is already in service. We must pass on the experiential knowledge to those relieving us and to those coming after us in a positive, professional and acceptable way. We do this through a system of onboard training familiarization, and informal experiential knowledge transfer by one of the oldest methods of knowledge sharing known to human man, humankind, but still so relevant today. That's mentoring. I've been involved in a project to promote mentoring at sea with the Nautical Institute for about 15 years. And I'm pleased to see that mentoring is a word we often hear used when talking about the onboard transfer of experiential knowledge. But what do I mean about mentoring? Mentoring can mean different things to different people. Some will even argue that mentoring cannot take place except in a long-term and formal relationship between mentor and mentee. I disagree with this, as I believe that a mentor is anyone who passes on their knowledge to another who needs it and does so because they want to, without designated reward. It does not need to be long-term. 10 minutes can be quite sufficient. But who or what is a mentor? What qualifications are required? The Oxford English Dictionary describes a mentor as an experienced and trusted advisor and sources the origin of the word from the name of mentor, the advisor to the young telematchus in Homer's Odyssey. But unlike mentor, you don't need to be an experienced and trusted advisor. Mentors are not mythical creatures, nor are they cloaked professors. Do me a favor, just look at the person sat next to you. Okay, now look back at me. Mentors are you or me. A master, a chief engineer, a bosun, a superintendent, a surveyor, a line manager, a colleague, a friend or a stranger. In fact, anyone who'll share a piece of knowledge or experience with you. That lovely tradition of taking somebody aside and taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule to teach them something, to show them some, how to do something, or to let them try something for, yourself, for themselves under your watchful guidance. So I've defined experiential knowledge as knowledge gained from professional, on-the-job experiences and reflected upon. This knowledge can come from a wide variety of sources, but it often has the most impact when it comes from an accident, an incident, or a near miss. But actually, you don't have to be involved in an accident to share lessons learned. It could be one that you investigated, or even one that you read about in the great safety briefings that Safety for Sea send out each day. 
However, it does need to be reflected upon before it becomes experiential knowledge. So according to the Institute of Work-Based Learning at Middlesex University in London, reflection is a thoughtful, in the sense of deliberative, consideration of your experiences which leads you to decide what the experience means to you. Over the years, reflection has become very important for me, a very useful tool, particularly to review the actions I've taken and to accept the decisions I've made. So whilst we're in a somewhat of a reflective mood, what I'd like you to do now is think about your career to date and how you've got to where you are. Is there anyone who stands out in your past as a mentor, as I've just described? I bet there is, and that you can remember their name and probably the occasion on which they passed on a piece or piece of experiential knowledge. That knowledge has stayed with you throughout your professional career. Yes? Can you do that now? Yeah. <laughs> I love doing this exercise, I really do, because the whole room is just lit up. Many of you are now smiling because you're fondly remembering that person who made such a difference in your life. This is what mentoring is all about. What experiential knowledge should we be passing on? Do you remember I spoke about this ship? And the captain at the beginning of my presentation? Well, fast forward now to my current employment as an STS mooring master when I'm regularly on board and maneuvering some of the world's largest DP-2 Suez Max shuttle tankers, 282 meters in length and capable of maneuvering and maintaining position without external help to within one meter. There is no way that the captain of my first ship there, that small cargo ship, could have envisaged a vessel like this. Yet he gave me the strong foundation of knowledge that I was able to build on so that I can. I've taken basic navigation skills that I learned from a young age and mixed them with the most modern technology available today. Evidenced by this, we need to pass on the skills that we have now to our next generation of seafarers. Just as I've done, they'll adapt it, they'll mix it with their latest technology on their vessels and successfully navigate into their futures. So if you're wondering what experiential knowledge you should be passing on, you should just teach what you know. All you need to do is pass on the knowledge that you have now. Our younger career professionals will take that knowledge just as I did. We'll build on it and we'll be fine in the future, no matter what their ships look like or how they're powered. So over the years, I've determined there are many barriers to mentoring, but by far, the greatest barrier to mentoring is, any ideas? Language. This is especially true when there's just two nationalities on board. Does mentoring work? Well, an experience on board a tanker in South America left me in no doubt it does. I was on this ship with a Greek master and all Greek deck officers, plus one Filipino deck cadet. The master was a member of the Nautical Institute, and he'd read my book and introduced mentoring on board. He asked me to speak to his staff after dinner about mentoring, and I gave a short presentation. During a Q&A session after the presentation, I asked the Filipino cadet how he was getting on with language barriers, and he replied, Oh, that's no problem at all, sir. They all speak English when I'm on the bridge. I must be honest. I could barely speak after that due to the huge lump in my throat. I never expected a reward for all the work I've put into this project, and yet that day, I received the biggest reward I could ever ask for, knowing that I'd made a difference in that young seafarer's life. So one thing that I cannot ac accept is when someone tells me that they can't be a mentor. Why not? Everyone can pass on one piece of knowledge, no matter who they are or what they do. 
So I say thank you for taking time with me this morning just to engage in this short conversation about mentoring. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it of interest and realize that you have the knowledge to be a mentor. So now please pass it on. Please remember, this is our time to make a difference. Let's use that time wisely. Thank you.